Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, the next song I got coming up here, Mr. Elvis Presley did this one. And I recorded this one back a long, long time ago. And usually when I do this one, I need me a kid up here. Hi, little boy. What is your name? Yui. Yui. Yui Walsh. Hi, Yui. How you doing? Good. Yes? I love you singing about it. Do you really? Oh, I'm a tall guy. Really? Really. Well, I'll tell you what. You're just going to sit next to me over here. And I will Well, I have two bad sides. <laughs> so it don't matter. <laughs> now that you mention it. Okay, Yui. Are you nervous? A tad, a tad, a tad. What the hell do you think I feel like? <laughs> You've done this before. No, this is my first time. I love him. He's adorable. Okay, here we go with a little song called If I Could See the World Through the Eyes of a Child. Here you go. to see if they're shaved. They are, they are. I knew I was going to see you tonight. Okay, everybody, how about a big round of applause for Yui here? I'm going to walk you home, little boy. All right? Thank you. You're a nice kid. That kid is too young for me to be fooling around with. I got these kids back here. You boys ready to do some fooling around? This guy here is always ready to be fooling around. By the way, ladies, three singles, and we have another single over here. He's the only married one. I'm not married. Tomorrow is my anniversary, and I ain't telling you how long. And that's no lie. 36. 36, what? 26. 26. I'm sorry. You know that. 
Honey. I spilled it. <laughs> All right, here we go with some fooling around. I know that you've been a fool. Was looking for them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do a song I recorded a long time ago. Unless you're a truly Patsy fan, you will know this one. But if you don't, listen up because it's a very romantic song. And I just want to feature my sex partner. I mean, my saxophone partner. <laughs> Lay it here. John Stephan on the horns. He arranged this one. And this one is called. You took him off my hands.
is an old song. But I know you're all gonna know it. And when you do catch on, I wanna see you sing along. I wanna hear you sing along. And um, here we go right now. We ready? With a little Bill Bailey. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this next song is a song I recorded back in the 50s. I think it was 57. And it's a very romantic song. And when we used to be able to smoke in places like this, we can't do that no more. You like that, huh? All right. Well, anyhow, I'm going to do me a little smoking right now, whether you like it or not with three cigarettes in an ashtray. Here we go.
It's 1960, and guess what? Patsy's not the only person out there that's recording records. When I say person, I mean female person. There's quite a few other stars out there recording records, and a couple of them cross paths with Patsy at this time in her life. Now, the first one that crosses paths with Patsy is a young lady that used to open the show for Patsy, believe it or not. Now, this young lady I'm talking about was just inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last year. Anybody have an idea who that girl might be? What was that? Brenda Lee, there you go, very good. And uh, if you listen to Brenda's early records and play some of Patsy's later records, you'll hear the influence that she had on her, on Patsy having on Brenda. Okay, there's another young lady now that comes to mind. This girl was born in New Jersey. Uh, she's entertained all her life. In fact, she still entertains today. And, uh, the way she crosses paths with Patsy is like this. She records a record back then, and it's a big hit. Patsy hears the record, falls in love with it. She runs back to Owen Bradley, and she says to Owen, listen, I just heard so-and-so sing this on the radio. Is there any chance that I could record that record? Owen said, sure, why not? So into the studio they went, they recorded the record, and at that time, Patsy was doing a show called The Town and Country Jamboree Hour which was really a four-hour show on a Saturday night from 8 to 12 out of Tennessee, Nashville. Well, Patsy releases the record, and bingo, she gets a number one hit with it. So my first question to you is, what record did they share a number one hit with? How about Stupid Cupid? They both had big hits with Stupid Cupid. Well, right now, for your listening pleasure, and right here on this stage, we're going to bring you our Connie Francis. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Connie Francis.
I went last year to see Miss Connie Francis, and I really enjoyed the show. But the song I wanted her to do the most, she didn't do. So I says, well, you know what? I think I can do that one. But before I do, I need me a Frankie up here. <laughs> and you better not lie to me, because I want to see your license when we get done. So now, I'm going to ask you again. Do we have a Frankie? Where? Don't make me come and get you. This is going to get ugly. Come over here, Frankie. Hi. Is that your real name? I tell you what. You're just going to sit right next to me, Frankie. Okay, just, no, no, no. I want you on my left. Go ahead, take a seat. And I'll tell you what, you're just going to sit there and I'm going to do all the work. <laughs> when was the last time you heard that? <laughs> the what? You should, I got to do the work. I'll let you finish the show for me, how's that? <laughs> now, I'll tell you one more thing, now that I got you up here. <laughs> I need you to do me one little favor. I need you to pet my poodle. <laughs> I said my poodle. Now let's do that again. There you go. How about a big round of applause for our Frankie here? Don't you wish this was you? They're jealous. Are you ready? Just sit there. I'm going to do it all. Here we go. With Frankie. Remember what you were doing that when that song come out? 
I think I was in the backseat of a convertible somewhere. I really think I was. Don't tell my mother. All right. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next little girl, Miss Brenda Lee. I know Bob told you um, she was inducted this last year. Um, but before I get into that, let me just tell you a little story. It was back in the 70s. I had taken my little boy to uh, Disney World, and our entertainment that night in the restaurant was Brenda Lee. And uh, amazingly, she had been way over in the corner over there. She probably pegged him when she walked in because she turned around and she started singing the song Baby Face. I have to see this picture myself on the big screen. How about that? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That was a long time ago. Yep, that was her. And uh, can anybody tell me what song she was inducted for? I tell you what, I'll give you a hint. She was not sorry. Uh-huh, honey. All right. to myself sweet nothing Special sweet nothing. for tonight sweet night Sorry. 